All right, this is physical assessment part two. We're going to be assessing the thorax and the lungs, the breast, um, heart, peripheral vascular, abdomen, GU, and anus. So we're just going to start with just the thorax and lungs, and then we'll take a break and come back. So we're going to be assessing um, the shape, symmetry, and breath sounds. Of course, you want to bring your scale um, sheet, and then you're going to need a, a stethoscope for this part of the checkoff. So at first, um, for the shape, I'm just uh, assessing my patient. We don't have to do all the intro and all that. We've already done all that. It's like we're just continuing on. So I'm looking at the shape of his chest. That would be the thorax. And look at the, the front and the back. It's inspection. Okay, so I'm not noting um, any abnormalities. He does look like a one to two. He's bigger um, this way than he is this way. So that would um, be his AP ratio. Looks like it falls within normal limits of one to two. I'm also noting um, the symmetry, so his muscles and things look symmetric, his chest looks symmetric, um, so with inspection, I'm looking at that. I'm also going to um, palpate, so do you mind if I touch you? All right, so you just wanna go ahead and palpate the chest, just all over the area, um, and you're just palpating for masses, pain, does any of that hurt, do you feel anything? Okay, so that's your palpation part. You're also um, gonna do your chest um, excursion, or um, expansion, so I'm going to place my hands here at his costal angle, deep breath, okay, and exhale, and then you would also do that in the back, inhale, and exhale, okay, so my hands rise and fall, there wasn't one side coming up um, more than the other, so that was um, equal and bilateral um, expansion, it was symmetric. I'm looking at the costal angle, for some of this you can't really tell with clothes and things on, it would be better if we had... Um, I think a hospital gown or something, but looking at that costal angle, you would want it to be less than 90 degrees, okay, it's where the, the ribs slope downward, um, so he doesn't appear to be barrel chested or anything like that, so we did the shape, the symmetry, um, we have done our inspection and palpation, and now we'll move on to percussion and auscultation. So again, you can do it different ways if you want to do everything on the front and then move to the back, Okay, it just kind of depends if your patient, you know, is having to move or how, where you have them and things like that and what's more comfortable for them. But you just want to have a system. Are you going to do auscultation and then percussion or are you going to split it up? So I'm just going to go ahead and do all the auscultation and then just don't forget the percussion. You can do per percussion first if you want. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to do the auscultation. I'm not actually going to put these in my ears so I can actually <laughs> hear myself. But you'd want to use the diaphragm. Of your stethoscope this does turn back and forth so make sure you have it on the diaphragm side um, normally I would kind of stand right here but since the camera's there I'm just going to stand here so you would have them take a deep breath in and out inspiration and exhalation they kind of just breathe with their mouth slightly open but you don't have to do it but for a normal patient you'd want them to take the breaths in and out so that you could hear their their lung sounds there is a system to it um, you're just going to go back and forth then come down you're comparing each side, coming on down, and then there's like five, and you want to make sure that you come up to the back, and you're doing the same thing. There's quite a few back here, um, coming down. We'll go all the way down, and then you also want to make sure you come around to the sides, okay, and you listen in several places on the sides, on both sides, because um, you don't want to miss anything there, okay, so just making sure. Um, again, you don't have to count 12 times, or you just want to make sure you get both sides, you're covering all the lung areas, and then coming around to the sides as well. Okay, so that would be your auscultation. Um, clear to auscultation bilaterally would be a normal finding. We also are going to percuss. Um, so again, I would feel more comfortable over here, but I'm trying to do this. Um, you're going to put your hand on the patient, um, and then just tap like that, tap, 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 tap tap, 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 tap. You do it in the same sequence. We come on down. At this point, just having the skill of how you would percuss and knowing where to percuss is what you're expected to know. So then on the back, they have the three across the top. And then moving on down, and you would do the whole percussion sequence on the back as well. So probably during the checkoff, once we see that you have the technique and you know that there's a system to it, then we'll be like, okay, that was good. All right, so then before you're finished, you just want to check and think, okay, did I do everything front and back? Did I inspect front and back? Did I palpate front and back? Did I percuss front and back? Did I auscultate front and back? We did 
shape symmetry and